to the Montana Theater, home of the University of Montana School of Theater and Dance. Proud member of the College of Visual and Performing Arts. As a courtesy to the performers and your fellow audience members, please turn off all mobile electronic devices and refrain from texting, surfing the web, or taking photographs during the performance. For your safety, please familiarize yourself with the nearest emergency exit. Don't forget to visit our concession stand in the lobby during intermission. All proceeds support theater and dance student scholarships. Please take a tag from the giving tree in the lobby to help support youth homes and the Watson's Children's Shelter. We have endeavored with this ghostly little play to raise the ghost of an idea which shall not put you out of humor with yourselves, with each other, with the season, or with us. May it haunt you pleasantly, and no one wish to lay it. This is Charles Dickens, A Christmas Carol. Molly is dead to begin with. There is no doubt whatever about that. The register of his burial was signed by the clergyman, the clerk, the undertaker, and the chief mourner. Scrooge signed it, and Scrooge's name was good. Old Molly is dead as a doornail. <laughs> Mind, I don't mean to say that I know of my own knowledge what that is particularly dead about a doornail. I might have been inclined myself to regard a coffin nail as the deadest piece by a monkey in the train. <laughs> well, therefore, permit me to repeat emphatically that Marley is as dead as a doornail. Scrooge knows that he is dead. Scrooge and he were partners for I don't know how many years. Scrooge was his sole executor, his sole administrator, his sole assign, his sole residuary legatee, his sole friend, and sole mourner. And he was such an excellent man of business that on the very day of the funeral, he solemnized it with an undoubted bargain of a deal. <laughs> there is no doubt that Marley is dead. This must be distinctly understood, or nothing wonderful can come from the story we are about to relate. If we were not perfectly convinced that Hamlet's father died before the play began, there would be nothing more remarkable in his taking a stroll at night in an easterly wind upon his own ramparts than there would be in any other middle-aged gentleman rashly turning out after dark in a breezy spot. <laughs> <laughs> Marley is dead. Scrooge never painted out old Marley's name. There it stood, years afterward, above the warehouse door. Scrooge and Marley! The firm was known as Scrooge and Marley. Sometimes people new to the business called Scrooge, Scrooge. And sometimes Marley. But he answered to both names. It was all the same to him. Spice yeah. you know. Okay. 